and welcome back, lovely people. I thought today we'd do something slightly different. I'd ask you a question, and let's discuss it. And the question is this. Do planes really need pilots? You've probably been reading in the press that there is an acute pilot shortage. The airline industry predict that they're going to need 20,000 new pilots in the next decade to replace the ones that are retiring. So let me play devil's advocate. As a private pilot, I'll just put my position first. I think that planes need pilots. And a good example would be in an emergency, the miracle on the Hudson, Sully and Jeff Skiles landed the plane on the river and everybody lived. But under extreme problems, an Air France plane crashed into the Atlantic when the entire flight crew looked at their manuals and couldn't actually physically fly the plane. It stalled and everybody died. Or, and I'm really sorry to mention this, but German wings, a sad, sad pilot with a large psychological problem crashed the plane into a mountainside. And in the general aviation community, the largest percentage of fatalities are caused by the pilot. So, let me know what you think in the comments below and in a poll, which I'll put up on YouTube. The other thing that I would like to say as a private pilot, not a commercial pilot, is go out and take flying lessons. And I think it's up to large airlines and the aircraft manufacturers to actually sponsor flight schools, to actually encourage people to get into flight training. Remember, every single pilot started on a Cessna pretty well. I certainly did. So let me know what you think. There are arguments for and against. And the technology is amazing. Airbus have announced that pilotless aircraft, commercial aircraft, are possible. But maybe some of you out there aren't pilots, but you're passengers. Would you fly a plane without a pilot? I wouldn't. Let me know what you think, because as far as I'm concerned, the truth is out there. Mm -hmm.